everyone! Hey, if you're one of those people that do not have a jelly plate, then this is for you. I am one of these people that does not have a jelly plate. What is a jelly plate? Well, it's one of those strange things in the mixed media crafter world, junk journal land, art journal land, that people use to make pretty backgrounds with things, I guess. Um, I'm not an expert on the jelly plates because, well, I don't have one. But I've often seen people use them, but I thought, what else can we use? It kind of gives us a similar look, but we don't have to have a jelly plate. I don't know. Is it just me? Or is there something kind of creepy about a jelly plate? I kind of picture it like a, a piece of jello on a slab over there that I would imagine dries out at some point or might grow mold or I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about a jelly plate. I am jelly plate um, devoid of information, but... I still like the idea of making backgrounds en masse. So if you want to come along and make some backgrounds en masse with me today, here we are. That's what we're doing at the Old Paper Outpost. Hey, hang on to your hats. You never know where this is going to go today. So I thought I would make some on book pages and on, yes, our old friend paper bag. That's right. Okay, so let me lower this a bit. So I know you can't see it lowering, but the table is lowering. And then I'm going to raise the camera and then we're going to be good to go. We are good to go. Okay, here we are. Oh, I got any glasses. It's one of those days, you know what I mean? Um, here, oh, is that, no. Any, any pair, I know I have like a thousand. Here, yeah, here, help me put them on. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, oh, all right. There, we have book page, we have paper bag. And I thought we would bring in some bubble wrap. I had this some from, from some packing recently. Big bubbles. And where is that other one? Oh, small bubbles. Okay, so I thought we could use two things on here to see if we can get some impressions on this book page or on this paper bag. Um, one is paint and one is ink. So let's work with the ink first. I don't know why. Um, but let me grab some inks and let's just see what happens. I mean, yeah, let's just see how this goes. Let's, let's just throw our caution to the wind and just see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna try my old friend, Walnut Stain. Might go well on here, I don't know. Um, and I need my water bottle squirter because this is probably a little dry. I think I need some juicy. There we go. Just a little water to wet it up. Get it going and let's try this. What I want to do is run the pad over these bubbles. Okay. Never done this before. Here we go. Oh, I do see some ink going on there. I don't know how good this is going to work. It could be a total flopperoo, but we're going to level it up with some paint after. So let's see if that makes a difference. Okay. So here we go. Let me zoom you in so you can get a bird's eye view of how this doesn't work at all. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Ready? Well, that may be a little close. Okay, don't wait too long, Pam. Your ink is drying. All right, okay. Here we go. Not much, but there is a little background there. Can you see it? It's faint, but it is there. Now, I wonder... Okay, here is Walnut Stain in Distress Oxide. The Oxide Pigment Plus Dye. This, this one, Just Dye. That actually says Walnut Stain, too. Pigment Plus Dye. Let's try this one. Maybe there's a difference. Let's see. We're going to try a few techniques. We're going to actually see what makes a difference. Okay, this seems to be a little more noticeable on this thing. All right, I'm just going to try it on this side again. Try it on the lower part this time. Ready? Here we go. All right, what do we get? Oh, we got it. Okay, it's definitively darker. Okay, so we do have some background, which is nice. I think it's kind of cool. It actually looks like some kind of paper that I was inking on, and it just sort of happened that way. Um, now there's one more thing I want to try. Here is the Distress Oxide Walnut Stain yet again. Okay, let's ink it up. We've got a lot of book pages here, so I'm not worried about using too many. Okay, now I'm going to spritz a, little, spritz a little water on it because it's supposed to get activated by water. All right, are you activated now? Maybe I should have sprayed the book page. I don't know. We're going to try this, see if it makes a difference. Here we go. Ready? And we're down. What do you think? Taking bets? I think it's going to be a little more intense. We see. Oh, yeah, we definitely got more intense that time, didn't we? Look at that. That's all it looked kind of jelly plate-like, right? There's still a little moisture on there. Let's just see if we can share the wealth here a little bit. Looks like somebody threw coffee all over this page, which I think is kind of cool. You can actually decorate these right in a book um, and just pull them out as you want to use them, which is kind of fun. Okay, we'll turn you over and we'll look for another page. Okay, now all of a sudden there's no pages with writing on them. Have you noticed that? Look at that, nothing. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, now let's try the little bubble wrap. Let's see how that goes. Okay, first we'll try the, the very um, unexciting regular ink pad. 
This is walnuts. I guess I could have used a different color, but we'll just go for basic brown initially. Yes, living on the wild side today. Basic brown, nothing like it. Okay, pushing. Now don't push too hard so you pop the bubbles. Gosh forbid, no. Okay, see what we get. Oh, actually that's kind of nice. You know, I mean, that's got some, that's got some action there. Yeah, okay. Um, let me just turn my overhead light on. It's not on. I think I want to give you full maximum lightness so you can see what we're getting. Okay, so we do have some background there, right? And we could keep building on one and, and make things dramatic, but I just want to see what we're getting here. Are we going anywhere? Do we have places to go and people to see yet? Let's try this now with the Distress Oxide Walnut Stain. Pigment plus dye. Okay, here we go. With no water. This is the no water one first. Okay, here we go. And we're going down. Maybe this one I'll try spritzing on after. I could do that. Oh, that actually come out better. Yeah, you definitely get more of a, a robust ink look. Uh, so this is just dye. This is pigment plus dye. Okay, now I haven't spritzed it or anything. I'm turning the page. Now here, I'm going to do this one. And exactly the way we did it on, on the other one, I'm going to spritz a little water right on the plastic to see if that makes a difference, which I'm thinking it's going to. What do you want to take a bet? Just a little. Okay, just a spritz -a -loo, nothing major. Down, press in one place, try not to move around too much. And it's okay if you do because that's an entirely other different link. Look, a different other aesthetic. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's very cool. Again, it looks like coffee through a grate, but that's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's really cool. And these won't take long to dry. So if, if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of space, but you would like to play with inks and coffee dye and, and things like that, leaving the pages right in a book that you're not using, but you want to decorate some of the pages, they can dry in there for storage. This wouldn't take long. It may be like a few minutes to dry. Um, and if you fold it over, probably even less time because the other page is going to absorb some. Let's see what happens to the other page when I do that. It's probably going to pick up a little. Yeah, picked up a little. Okay. And uh, great for storage and great for uh, drying time, drying space. Okay, so now I'm going to try the, the other idea. Let's get a nice uh, set of pages here with some text on them. And let's grab the Distress Ink Oxide Walnut Stain with the brown. So exciting, Pam. You're just really, really, you know, you're just having fun today with the brown boy. Let me tell you. Cra crazy wild woman. Yes. Okay. Now, instead of spritzing this, I'm going to spritz the page. I know, I know. Okay, that's pretty wet, so let's see what happens. I don't know what the right or wrong way to do this is. We're just trying. We're experimenting as you're watching. Yes, yeah, so you decide what is the best technique. Will it look different? I'll, I'll compare for you. Maybe we'll take this off. Oh, that was really wet. Completely different look, right? Wow, is that different. Okay, so now I could give that a second to dry and absorb so it won't run when I uh, have you look at the other page. Let me see if I can just take a peek. That's very honeycomb-y too. It actually looks pretty cool. I like it. Very intense. Okay, the other one, which was over here. Oh, heck, we'll just fold it down. Uh, it's only a page in a book, right? Here's the other one. So this is spraying the plastic, pressing it down. And then this one... Ooh -hoo. Oh, I smudged it all together. But see, if I didn't fold it, which this is cool, I'm okay with this, but it, you would get more intense. So that's your level of leveling up with the jelly plateless of us all. Okay, that's, that's us. And um, uh, I thought that was kind of cool. I really did. Okay, so now let's level it up and add some gesso. Okay, here we go. All right, this could be fun. Now we're now we're really we're really going to town. Now the question is, how to get the gesso on this gesso white colored is basically like flat white house paint, as far as I understand. I'm not a paint aficionado, but I would think that's that I heard that somewhere. It's basically like flat white house paint. Um, I'm going to use a brush. I don't know why. It just seems to make sense in this situation. So here we go. Could probably use your fingers too, but just painting the tops. This is still a little brown on here, so we might get some brownage through. Well, let's see what we get. Who knows? This could be fun. All right, ready? We're flipping, trying to lay down in one, one layage. Okay, moved a little. I don't think it matters. I don't think anybody's going to write home, call the police, announce it from the rooftops. And what did we get? Huh, okay. 
Well, you know, that's what we got. And, you know, you love it or hate it, it's ours now. Yeah. And it's kind of cool because it covers some of the words, but not all of the words. So that could actually be a very cool background. This is really a lot of fun. Okay, I may not have realized how much fun mass background making could be. Maybe I've been missing out. What have I been doing all my life? Now I'm wondering, did I go the wrong way? Should I have gotten a jelly plate? Where was I when everybody else was getting jelly plates and I was not there? Or are these other folks who figured out different ways to do these without jelly plates? You know, hats off to you. Okay, we're trying the, the thin, the small bubbles now. I don't know if this is going to work. This might be too thick. Okay, too thin. Just on the tops, Pam, just on the tops. I still have some of the brown ink here. So that is mixing in here. Could have used a clean piece. No, went for the one I used. Apparently feeling cheap today. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, there we go. All right, let's see what we got. What do you think? What do you think? Better, worse, the same? Oop. Oh, that's kind of cool. So because I still had some of the residue on there, I'm getting, a, let me bring it down to you because I think the light's better down here. I'm getting this kind of look. Yeah, that's kind of cool though, huh? I mean, I think that's a, definitely worth a day uh, or a day, uh, worth some time just blowing through some book pages, putting stuff on them. How fun is that? That is really fun. Okay, so um, I would definitely do that again. Yeah, that was um, very rewarding. Whoops. And uh, lots of fun. So let's try it on the um, paper bag. Excuse me, a little book insert. Um, the desk is a mess today because there's crafting going on here. What can I say? I'm unapologetically saying there's a lot of crafting going on here. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. It's okay. All right, here we go. Here's some just paper bag. Just good old This was from our Chinese food the other night. Um, I had beef and mixed vegetables, if anybody was wondering. This is my bag. Yes, and now it is becoming art. Okay. Um, okay, so here is my big bubble one. I'm going to turn it around and try for some clean bubbleage. All right, there's some, where are the bubbles good? I, they seem to be very popped in this area. Let me, let me cut out a section. I don't want flat bubbles. No, I need some bubbles. They need to, they need to hold their salt. Can, can this be cut? It's one of those weird things. It like, this doesn't want to cut it. These are, okay, here we go. And now we're cutting. Okay. Just cut, Pam, cut, cut, cut. Oh, right, we got it. All right, got that off. Now I have some serious bubbleage here. And there's no brown here, so we're going to actually see what the white looks like on, well, that might be a little thick. I would say thin and across the top. Thin and across the top. And I guess you could go different ways here. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Sonny's sleeping. He's sleeping on my sweater. Yeah, doing the same thing. Okay, here we go. Ready? And it's down. Okay, let's see what we got. So this could be very cool. Oh, yeah. No, this is awesome. Oh, hey. Hey. I was not an owner of this before, and now, now I am. Isn't that cool? I think that's kind of cool. Um, all right, let's bring, let's come in with the little one. We'll do the other side, which is not um, browned. It's just its own natural self. Lightly across the top. Some are lighter than others. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oop. Okay. Here we go. All right. Oh, yeah, he's snoring. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, I love it. Somebody, somebody said, uh, I get this every once in a while. I love your channel, but boy, my dog or my cat or my bird or whatever they hear, Holly, or whenever they hear your voice, Pam, they run. <laughs> I love that one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that on the paper, the paper bag look. So if you're looking for fun things to do with a paper bag, here's another one of them. Just take one paper bag and just Put a bunch of stuff down on it because you'll create really cool backgrounds. That's neat. Now, let's take it up another level and let's try black gesso. Let's see if I can even get that lid off my black gesso. And I'm assuming, now this, okay, just so you know, this will be a flat paint look, like a matte finish. Because uh, think flat, matte, matte, flat. And uh, if we used acrylic paints, we would get, I would imagine, a little bit of a shine. I'm assuming, I'm not sure, but... Uh, uh, let's try this again. Okay, I don't care if there's some white on it. That's okay. I'm gonna put some. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna dip my th this right in the black paint or the black gesso. Here I come. Here's my black gesso. I shouldn't do this, should I? I know somebody. Right. Oh, like you're cringing right now. She's mixing paint. I know. The world's laziest crafter. 
I know, but something can good can become it. I'm getting some grays because I'm doing that. See, that's what you get when you mix black and white. You get grays, Pam. Grays, you knew that. You knew that was going to happen. Okay, I'm going in with more black. Get some serious blackness going on here. Okay, here we go. Um, should I mix it up? Can you see? Is this, are we still in shot? Yep, here we go. Let's put down, just put down, Pam. I don't think there's any right or wrong place to put it. Probably a mat under what you're doing to catch the wayward paint would be a very good idea. Yes. Okay. Hey, some of that came out really cool. Some of it, you know, looks like a little smudge, but that's all right. <laughs> I think it's all good. I think so. Okay, let's try this. Okay, let me try not to get it on everything else that's on here. Could you, could you clean the desk just a little? We, we'll wait. Really, we will. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I have paint on my arm. Um, yeah, it does get all over the place. Look at that. All right, here we go. What do we have now? Do we look like we're jelly plating? I think somebody might mistake this for jelly plating. Maybe I would, maybe not the expert jelly platers of the world, but you know, a little softy like me. Let's, no, try the other end. Oh, try the middle. You don't have anything on that. Okay, I'm dipping, I'm dipping. Ugh, such the wrong way to do this. Okay, okay. No, you could have got yourself a jelly plate, but no, you had to get this. Okay, it's really thick in one area and not so thick in others, so I have no idea what's going to happen. This is the grand experiment of it all. Here we go. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, it feels weird through. Do I have a hole? Maybe. I'm getting some black on my hand. Let's see what happens. Oh, a big blutch. <laughs> How to get a big blutch, but that's kind of cool. Okay, so the big blutch, maybe not the biggest success, but let's try a little there. Try a little over here. Can you see? Oh, that's the blutchy area. So if you get a lot in between the bubbles, you get blutch. Yeah. Um, it's a very technical term. Only used in the highest art circles. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can actually pick up some of this paint. Maybe I can re-pick it up. Can I do that? You know what? Maybe I can come back over with some white. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, here's a little white section. And I'll try and paint right over that. Mm, let's see what happens. I'm reopening my white gesso. Now I'm not gonna do that. That would be insanity, right? Okay, I, I do have some, I have some morals and some scruples, people. I know when enough is enough. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Here's like some really lousy house paint brush that I have. Let's try that. See if I ruin that, it won't matter. Okay, okay. Putting some white, oh, probably put too much. There you go, there you go, too much. Okay, this, this, these end bits are better. Yeah, lighter is better, I think. Light, don't do the heavies, no. Try the lighter is better technique. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm not gonna push too hard, light, come up. Oh, there we go. Now we've, 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 we've done something there. That looks good. Um, okay, there's more over here, over here. I have a lot I can work with here. Oh, it's a little bit of smudge. Don't push too hard, Pam. Just be gentle. Okay, okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, not bad. Okay, we are, we're definitely covering some ground here. And I think this is kind of one of those things you can just keep going until you're done. And only you know when you're done. Am I done? I don't know. I feel like I want to put more here. Maybe I lightly touch. Will that do something? That'd be, okay, it's something. It's doing something. I'm not quite sure what it's doing. All right, here we go. Going around the edges. Oh, I got to get this paint off my desk for sure. For sure. Okay. I'm going to throw this out. I think it's just had it. Maybe not. Maybe I, still, I need still to still hang on to it. Oh, man. Hang on. All right. I have a wet wipe. I'm going to come here and save the desk. Save the desk. That's right. Oh, too late over here. It's already dried. Oh, well. We'll figure that out later. Um, but there you go. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? Now, I mean, black and white is fun and all, but maybe you want to have a little color in there, right? Right, 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 right. Maybe, just maybe we could come in. I'm just feeling really bold and dandy with you guys today, and I feel like I need to go stick this in water. Let me do that. I'll be right back. Okay, are we rolling? We're rolling. Okay, I grabbed some acrylic paint. Gold sparkle and pink. Sp it's like a pearlescent. I think this is from Craftamo. And um, I am going to try these. I'm going to try and, okay, I have nothing to do this on. Of course not. It's okay though. We're carrying on as if we do. We're just going to use our hand. How about that? All right. Let's put a little water. I think you can water down acrylic a little bit. So it's more, it's not so thick. That's what I'm doing. It would be nice to do this on a plate, which I don't have. Okay. I'm going to try the tap maneuver. Okay. Oh, that. Oh, it's going to get everywhere. 
See how some goes in the air? Yeah, I, I don't think you can see this going down. Let me try to put more. I'm going to bring it for a close-up because it is coming down on the paper and it's looking really pretty. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, oh, right. there's gold everywhere. Oh, everywhere. Definitely cover your stuff when you're doing this. What was I thinking? I don't know. That's okay. Or this far. Oh, well. Oh, well. Do I want to make marks? Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, now I'm having fun. All right, here we go. These are like little, this is a fan brush that dried weird. So we're putting some weird, oh, that went right in the white paint. That's okay though. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, that, that was good. It's probably highly toxic and you should use a plate. I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea, but why would you want to put toxic substances on your straight skin? That's not smart, ma'am. Don't do that. Don't do that. You want to live a long and healthy and happy life. Okay, what else do we have? We have the pink. Should I? Okay, let me bring you in a little closer so we can get a, a bird's eye view of what we created. All right, just a paper bag in its original former life. And now it's looking like West 57th, really expensive art. Yep. Yep, totally here. Got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe not, but, you know, in my mind. All right, here we go. Let's try this. This is a pink pearlescent. Very pink, but I thought it might show up. Whoa, that's really intense. Um, nicely on here. Maybe I just need a little bit. Not a lot, Pam. Let's see if we can work with that. A little water. Okay, a little more. Okay. Let's get in there with the gold brush, because we got to wash that anyway. I don't think the gold will show through the pink. Maybe a little muddy. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, it went away over there. Did you see that? Probably not good. Yeah, it never happened. No, nope, not here. Oh, boy, it's everywhere. Yeah, definitely, definitely wear splash cards. Wear a raincoat. Yep. Do what you got to do to protect the house, the family, the kids, the car, whatever you got. Because this stuff goes everywhere. But it's fun. It's really highly fun. Just got to get in there and clean it up after. Maybe some, some in certain areas more than others. I mean, that's like a design thing, right? Like maybe opposite corners. I don't know. Yeah, let's just think. Like, oh, okay, wish I had more now. That was actually very fun. Okay, let me wipe that off. Probably also highly toxic. Don't do this at home. Um, okay, let's give you in for the bird's eye view. What did we make? We have kind of like a snake skin sort of look. Pretty cool, huh? I could definitely see this uh, cut up and used for bookmarks and journal cards and journal tucks and journal tags and pockets and stuff like that. And look how fast you, like, like really quickly you have a million Okay, maybe not a million, but maybe you have uh, eight, six, four, depending on the size. And just set it aside to dry and then pull out another bag and do it. And then when you're done and these are all dry, you could come back and do the other side. But since that's still wet and I only have the one bag here, that's as much as we're going to do with that baby. Um, but what else could we do with these? Let's say, okay, we're just like, we're just going to town. It, remember, it's only a paper bag, right? So, you know, who cares if we ruin it? It's all right. We're, it's all in the name of fun and we're playing. Excuse me, Sunny, are you, are, you, uh, are you sleeping? Yes, Mom, I'm sleeping. Can you, that's what snoring means. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Let me get something else and just, just see, let's just see. Okay, um, are you guessing? Are you wondering? Okay, yep, it's true. I'm gonna pull out the stickles. Yeah, all right, let's see what we got here. Um, I wanna use something that gives us contrast, but doesn't look too weird with the colors we're using. Um, rose gold? very similar color to what we have here. I don't know if it's going to make a difference or not. Let's just see if the color is flowing. Oh, it is. Okay, put some dots. Um, this is like a kind of a pretty complementary color. Maybe a copper with the gold? I don't know. We'll put some of these down on the white spot. I think in the white areas would make most sense. Yeah. Here we go. This is kind of collage with paint. I guess that's what I would call it. This is now collage with paint being demonstrated. Yes. Okay. Oh, well, that's kind of, it, it's cool. It's subtle. And let me zoom in so you can even see what I did. Probably can't even see it. Um, let me show you. Can you see that? There you go. See them? They're right there. Yeah. And there's another one. And there's some down here. So that's kind of what it looks like. Okay, where else is it? Up in this top corner, it's just a little bit right there. Just little accents, little tiny accents, nothing too big. Backing up so you can see. All right, what else can we put on here? 
All right, I'm still looking over here. Maybe this purple? No, that's kind of not the right color. Maybe this color? Maybe. And I got this pink and that pink. Not a lot of pink going on there. Hmm. Let me just let me just back off for a second. Yellow? No. Copper? I'm almost out of this color? Heck no. Um, now all of a sudden I have I have no stickles to work with. What is this? This is glisten in stickles. You know what that means? That means glitter glue that takes a while to dry. So it's a kind of a goldy glitter glue. You can see that. Goldy glitter. Okay, let's just put it. We need some more glitter on here. That's what it needs. It's like, yeah. Just, okay, this doesn't really show up on, maybe I'll put it on the black. There we go. I might give some glint to the black where it's glintless. Yes, there we go. You now have glint. I don't think it really matters if you get the little frog po tally, uh, polywog tadpole tail because you didn't just do down up. You went down sideways, you know. Um, it's okay. Yeah, on this especially, this is like, hey, whatever you feel like doing. I don't think you can ruin this. It's pretty hard to ruin. You just keep going until you're done. And we're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep going, going. I think this looks really cool, like like fantasy lizard skin. That's what I'm going for. That's my look. Fantasy lizard skin. It's not dry yet. Of course not. No, we didn't wait. Okay, just lots of glitter. Okay, there we go. That's kind of cool, actually. Looks like one of those, you know, leather bags with all the, the glitzy litter. No animals died in this process, except for the one making it. Um, <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have here. What about good old white? Maybe just see some white dot. We have white. No. I think that's enough of the stickles. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's all right. Okay, let me think here. Let me just think for a second. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, we have just have a few minutes left, but I'm going to put this aside to dry. So that we're going to call our paper bag faux jelly plate creation. There you go. And not sure if that's what's going to be in the title, but that's what we got. And then we're going to take our book pages, which we had before. No, oh, that looks very pretty now. See, we can see what that looks like. That's very nice, right? Very nice to use in um, crafting. I should have been doing this a long time ago. Oh, the, the paint. Okay, you got to be careful. The paint sticks together until it's dry. The inks, not so much. There's no sticky adherence, but you do get a little stick adherence here. So you've been warned. That's all I can say is you've been warned. And let's see. Let's go back in time. See what we made. Maybe we want to put a little bit of... Uh, Okay, these are like some basics, basics. Maybe a little gold on here just for fun. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Here's this gold acrylic. Okay. Try that again. Use a piece of paper this time, Pam. All right. Okay. Well, that's a very nice glitter gold. This is officially gold. Yes. Okay. There you go. Um, now I'm, I'm just going to dip this in. Not going to dilute it. And I'm just going to put some random, little, almost like a little weird bird came along and walked across the bird page. You know, sometimes we're always trying to get paper to look a little bit different than it did when it walked in the door. And this is a fun way to do that. If you've got some paints, they don't even have to be golden glitter paints. It could be anything, anything you have. Um, okay, so let's see what we'll do here. We'll do, we'll do something a little different on this side. Let's see, we'll do... Uh, We'll do lines. Okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, and then the other way with what I have left. Not much. There we go. Okay, so we're doing two different motifs here. I'm just having fun. Um, so yeah, you can go right on top of those. Should we try the pink too? Why not? We have it out. Let's do it. Okay, we're not going to wait for that to dry. It would be best to wait for this to dry, but who wants to wait for that? Not me. No, no, no. Certainly not you guys. Okay, here we go. This is pink. And now we're going to get the same little piece of paper, put some sparkle. I guess this is like a metallic acrylic. This is very intense. Okay, we're going to do the bird feet walking. Okay, let me do like, these are actual like bird feet. Here comes, here comes the bird walking across the paper. It's a weird bird, isn't it? Like big bird coming across. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to do a little edging. It's going to be kind of nice. Yeah, got a little paint. A little edging is always nice. Framing it in. Yes, in its little pink birdie way. This is fun, actually. Um, 
I can't, why have I never thought of doing this before? In the book, just banking backgrounds. And it, yeah, hey, this has possibilities. This has possibilities. Okay, we're going to go over to this side. Let's see what we're going to do on this side. I think I need to router that up a little bit. We'll try the lines again. We'll see how it does with the pink. A little more dilute, but we'll see what we get. Oh, I don't have the lines. I have a schmear. Hmm. Well, that's the way it's going this time. It's just the way it is, because that's what I have. Okay, that's all right. Just work with what you have. Okay. Okay, that's pretty. So it has bands of pink going across. Very pretty, too, right? Okay. So maybe we'll just kind of do the edges a little bit. We have a little left on here. Using every little tidbit. There we go. I think that came out pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we have this one. And we have this one, and then we have, oh geez, let's see what happened. Remember, don't glue the paint together because that's sticky. Okay. Oh, no, didn't do anything there. Oh yeah, look at I'm gluing paint together. See, no, you don't want to do that, Pam. No, no, let the paint dry. Okay, the gold one I think came out really pretty. And this one is also really pretty too. It just depends what, what you would be using it for. You could make pockets and tucks and journal cards and bookmarks and you know, you, journal tech, I mean, you know, background, it's so exciting. There's so many possibilities here. So anyway, there you go, folks. I just wanted to uh, show you some fun playing in the mud today with you guys. And I'm going to go and rinse this now. But Sunny, do you have anything to say? Do, do you have, uh, am I, no, mom, mom, no, no. Oh, okay. Wait, where's my comb? Where's my comb? All right. Where are my people? Do I have people? Yes. <laughs> you have people, honey. Hello, everybody. This is Sunshine coming to you with this beautiful artwork in my background right behind my head, hoping mom does not stick me in it, um, but all is well. I'm, I'm growing right now. That's why I'm looking sleepy. Yes, I had, okay, she brought me home a little tiny piece of bread because she knows I really like it. And I had a little nibble and now I'm very sleepy. Not much bread though. You know, she knows it's not good for me. So it's not too much. Don't worry. It's okay. Listen, don't talk her out of it. I really like the bread, okay? Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Back to sleep, my little lamb. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Next time. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe, maybe you'll be more awake next time. That's okay. Go right back to sleep. We have to, uh, you know, it's kind of like, um, don't be, just be quiet. The baby's sleeping. The baby's sleeping. Don't wake the baby. It's kind of like that. I have gold everywhere. I have pink everywhere. Yes, that's the way it is. Um, so yeah, I hope you had fun today just playing in the mud with me. And um, for everybody who's new, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. Um, hey, if you haven't signed up for that, make sure you do because you get a free digital image email to, emailed to you every month with a free um, you can print it out at home and it comes in multiple sizes on one sheet. You can cut it out and use it any way you like in your artwork. And um, you also get a note from the bookmaker explaining what a junk journal is and how to use it. I like to print these off and tuck them in my, my big chunky monkey journals or any journal if, if somebody is not familiar with what a junk journal is to deal with squirrel face when you give it to them. Not on you, but on them. Yes. <laughs> and um, like, what is that? And uh, um, you can also change the font or change the wording if you like. I'll give it to you in Word doc and uh, PDF format so you can play with it and morph it any way uh, to your style. And I have um, an Etsy shop where I sell vintage digi kits, which are printable, downloadable computer images, which you can print out at home and then use them in your artwork any way you like. As well as um, if you don't have a printer, I have a solution for you. I have a print and mail service. You just purchase the print and mail option and pick out 10 names of digi kits that you fell in love with and must have. And then I will print those out on a nice lightweight cardstock for you. And you can, um, uh, uh, I, will I will print those out and mail those directly to you. So there you go. And um, I also sell fundals, which are collections of old paper, interesting paper, ledgers, uh, uh, old documents, old um, postcards and receipts and checks, and also a nice collection of vintage and antique book pages, and also some hand-dyed papers, and, uh, and a whole variety of other things that junk journalers might have a lot of fun using in a junk journal. Um, if you like to, the feel of the old papers and the old real stuff, um, this is a great way to sample a lot of things uh, in good variety all at one time. And I have an Amazon shop with four categories in it now. Um, I have a, I have a uh, favorite tools and supplies. I have uh, books that a junk journaler might like. I have um, 
a craft storage section and I have a Sonny's favorite section, which is my Maltese pup and he has some puppy favorites. Okay. So I also have a Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges and getting to see what you guys are doing uh, from these videos and love seeing what you're posting and your comments and everything. It's awesome. And all my links are in the description box down below. If you have a phone, just click on the title of the video and it should open up the description box. And if you find value or had fun here, please like, subscribe and share. And I also have a merchandise shop. If you're looking for a cool zipped hoodie or a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or something like that with the paper outpost or create with reckless about abandoned on it. I got that for you. And also um, remember most of all, all, between all of this and all of that, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon everybody. Go have some fun. Take care.